I think um, it's important to mention at the beginning that the RISEC study is, is focused on non-muscle invasive bladder cancer, which when confirmed um, tends not to be a deadly disease. Um, the more deadly disease, of course, is muscle invasive bladder cancer. And there are many challenges in um, improving the survival in muscle invasive bladder cancer. Um, with regards to how the, the TURBT surgery fits into that, I think is what I'd like to focus on because um, it's what we're studying as part of the RISEC study. The timeliness of definitive treatment in muscle invasive bladder cancer and accuracy of staging at the beginning is going to be crucial to um, identify those patients at risk of muscle invasive bladder cancer. So patients with high grade disease or um or invasive disease um, and finding that at the time of TURBT. Finding that at the time of TURBT will be dependent on the quality of that diagnostic surgery and diagnosing it accurately. Making sure that happens at the first TURBT will be essential to reducing the time between diagnosis and definitive treatment for muscle invasive bladder cancer. Any inaccuracies or delays in that diagnosis at the time of TURBT because of inaccurate staging, which can relate to the quality of surgery, could impact on the timing of the definitive treatment, which could be um, radical surgery or radical radiotherapy. So I think that um, whilst there are big questions about how to improve survival in muscle invasive bladder cancer related to uh, chemotherapy and, and surgical techniques, a really fundamental point about that, just bringing it back to real basics for the everyday urologists across the world is that the timeliness and accuracy of the diagnosis at the time of the TURBT will impact the, that deadly disease, uh, muscle invasive bladder cancer as well. So we're all about taking it back to basics, getting the, the, the basics of this diagnostic pathway right at the beginning. And we believe that that will in the long term impact survivorship.